Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can pick up and put down objects in game in Unity 5. Ok so I've set up this small little scene here with uh, a quick ground and a few blocks and a first person controller. Uh, what we'll essentially be doing is picking up these blocks and placing them down again. It's just a quick little script to um, show you how to do it. So first off, what you want is on your first person controller, if you go to the first person character, go to game object and create empty. We need to drag and drop this empty game object onto our first person character. The reason for that is because we will be using uh, parenting in this tutorial. Next thing to do is if you um, go onto your objects, add component, physics and a rigid body and also remove use gravity at this point so I'm willing to do it on um, all three of the objects clicking um, use gravity make sure that's unticked as I say okay so each one of them have um, a rigid body now uh, next thing to do is if you go into your asset window down here right click create javascript and I'm just going to call this script um, pick up and then double click or hit enter to open up the script in uh, mono develop so I'm sure you know by now mono develop is a quick little program you can write your scripts in so it's just loading up give it a second so as always you are presented with a few lines of code already pre-written so I'm just going to delete them and start from uh, scratch. So first of all we need to set a variable var on hand I'm going to call this one. I'm calling it on hand because it's going to be in our hands uh, when we press down on the mouse button. Um, and we need transform. As always remember um, it is cap sensitive. Uh, good practice to put in function update just in case. Uh, open curly bracket and then close curly bracket. And next we need function and we're going to do it when um, we have our mouse button down, it's in our hands. When we let go of the mouse button, we put it down. So on mouse down and remember that's a capital O, capital M, capital D. Open close bracket and uh, open curly bracket. So the next thing we need to do is get component and dot I need to reference the rigid body. So type in rigid body and then the close spiky bracket. Uh, parentheses and we need to use gravity. Now remember it is a lowercase u there and a capital G and we want to make it equal to false. So if you remember we already have it currently set to false. I've set it like that just in case but as soon as we run this script this first line will set it to false automatically anyway. So next we need this dot transform and we need the position to be equal to the on hand dot position which we set up here as our variable now eventually the on hand will become that game object which we set here so what we'll do now, as this is already set to our view, you'll see our camera is facing upwards. We'll put this in the position that we want. So we'll put that there and then we'll drag it out to about there. So now we'll be able to see this game object. So as I say, that game object will become this position on this line here. So then we need to transform again. So this line effectively is um, 
Oops, sorry, that's new transform. Dot. Not position. Sorry, we need to parent. So this, as I say, this line is kind of obsolete. There is no point to this line, but it gives you a bit of an indication of where the uh, object is going within the hierarchy, because that's what we're doing here. And game object dot find, and we need to find our first person controller. And by default, it is called FPS controller. We need to put that in the double quotes, close bracket, dot, transform, semicolon. So as I say, this line of code is kind of obsolete. There is no point to it because then the next line down puts it in the place we actually want. But it creates a kind of route or route um, if you are North American. Um, so it, it shows you where it's going, but as I say, it, it is kind of pointless. And this dot transform parent equals game. Oops, that's capital O. Object dot find, and then we need to put it as the item which is below first person controller, which is called first person character. So first person character. Double quote. Close bracket dot transform and then semicolon and then finally close curly bracket so this section right here is when our mouse is held down our mouse button is held down uh, the gravity turns off it takes the block to the on hand position which we will set as the game object and then it parents it with the first person controller and then it reparents it with the first person character so then we need to write a function to when uh, we let go of the mouse. So on mouse up. Open curly bracket. And essentially, it, we can do a nice quick one here. What we do this dot transform dot parent equals null. So it unparents it completely, it puts it uh, in the main hierarchy. If you have this object in another uh, object in the hierarchy. So, for example, if uh, we had another game object in the hierarchy uh, called, let's say, for example, A, and the cube was in there, and you wanted to put it back in there, all you would do is before this line, uh, sorry, instead of this line, you put um, instead of null, you put game object dot find, and then in the double quote brackets, you put a, and then dot transform. So then it will put it within here. So I'm just going to take that out and get rid of that empty game object. So as it stands now, this line will uncouple it from everything. And then finally, I uh, need to get. Oops. Get a component again, and we need the spiky open bracket, and we need rigid body close spiky bracket, and then we need to use gravity again, and we simply put this as true, and then semicolon, and then close curly bracket. So this then puts the uh, gravity back on, which will make the object fall back down <coughs> to uh, the ground. So save that script, then head back into Unity. So this script now is, have I done something wrong there? I think that should be a lowercase b on a rigid body. Yes, sorry, I've put a capital B on uh, the rigid body there, and it should be a lowercase b, it's just capital R and then lowercase b. Uh, so I, uh, it comes back to what I was saying before, as it is cap sensitive. It, Unity kind of kicks off a little bit if it uh, finds something it doesn't like. So anyway, that script is complete now. So then we can drag and drop that script onto each one of our game objects, one by one. And then if you click on the object, you'll notice down here that we have on hand. 
So all we do is this game object here, which we created within our first person controller, we need to put in this section here as our variable. So if we go on cube one first of all, and then drag and drop a game object over here, and then the second object over again, and then the third over again. So then when we press play, we'll be able to have a look at our object, hold the mouse down, and we can walk around with it. And let's place it down here. Let's do the same with the others. Let's take this, walk over here, and let's place it on top. And once more, and let's place this down here. So as I say, that is the script. That's all you need to do to pick up an object and put it down again. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something.